guys welcome to my channel so today as promised I'll be sharing with you some of the things I did during quarantine and today we'll be repairing some of my spring 2020 items and I would show you how I repair these items and how I will style them post quarantine so these are some of the looks that I'll be sharing with you today stay tuned till the end because I have a special spring 2020 bonus trend <laughs> hope you enjoy and see you soon okay so item number one you guys know pretty well this is a piece I got under my mom's bed do you remember that episode if you haven't seen it I would propose that you go and take a look at it I have so many beautiful items that I found there and you would note that while I was showing you this I was holding my side see right there even as I bend down I hold my side I continue to hold it that's because it was ripped that part of the skirt see I'm still holding the side of the skirt because I didn't want to flash you <laughs> it was ripped and so today we are going to make this piece whole again and show it some love and I hope you enjoy it so of course the first thing I'll be doing is to replace the button because when I found it it had a missing button so this is what I'll be doing today with it Quarantine is a great time for you to definitely up your sustainable game and this as promised would be part of how we could be more sustainable in an era of fast fashion and most importantly now that you have the time to do so go for it look for things in your closet that you haven't seen in a while that you you still love but you, you you haven't gotten the wear out of them oh my god definitely now is the time to do so so as you can see I am adding a button to the skirt so that it would be more secure for me to wear it post quarantine so this is post quarantine look number one and I love it it's this gorgeous top that I got from a place that would not be named. I really do love this top. It's a piece that I wear during the summers and maybe we will skip summer and spring this year but whenever post quarantine is, this is when I'm gonna wear it. And of course those boots guys, oh! It's a piece by Michael Kors and I really do love it. I also love those necklaces. I love my Gucci pendant. It's a piece, a gift from my friend Karen in New York. Really love it. And as mentioned in a previous video, the skirt material is unavailable, but it feels like a blend of cotton and polyester. So as you guys know, it's often best to get an item made of one material only and on here we often recommend fabric fit and style that's our current mantra so a material made of natural fiber is definitely the way to go and here are some natural fibers that you may consider incorporating into your wardrobe these are excellent fibers that often offer breathability as well as longevity, durability, and biodegradable. So now for the post-quarantine look, number two. And this is how I plan on wearing this post-quarantine. And of course, yes, I am quite aware that the video is not great. Apparently, I had forgotten to fix the aperture and 
I am not great at these things, so my sincere apologies. Please forgive me for the quality of this video because it definitely fades the fabric out. And these are items that are very pale pastel colors, so they tend to wash out if the camera is not set properly. So my bad, my apologies. Hope you still enjoy this video. So yes, for this particular look, I'm wearing a shirt that was my dad's. And this shirt is 100% nylon. It's over 50 years old, guys. This has been around and it's actually British nylon. I don't know the difference between British nylon and other countries nylons but the shirt definitely wanted clarification that this is British nylon so I do love this piece it's definitely in line with the current spring 2020 trend because it's very transparent and I love that a really nice bralette would really really look great underneath this piece sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love ya let's get back to the video so now we're on to the second item that i repaired during my quarantine well we are still in quarantine period so this is the second item and this also should be no stranger to you guys this was another piece i found under my mom's bed really love the skirt but if you notice carefully at the back of the skirt the split is sewn together my sister did that so she did her version of upcycling so today we are going to switch it back and return it to its original state so that's what i'm doing right now and you guys know a needle and thread i do everything on my hand because I don't really have a machine with me so everything is hand sewn I don't have any problem with it because it's what I'm accustomed to do so right now I undid the sewing of the split and now I am sewing it up back again so that we could get it all looking great so this is the post quarantine look number one for this particular skirt and here again i am wearing the same top you have seen the fabric composition above i think this is a great time to definitely let you know that if you do have anything of mixed fibers synthetic fibers know that these are very difficult to separate during the recycling process because not many companies have invested in the technology that is required to separate these fibers these many fibers during the recycling process so this is a piece that would definitely be destined to the landfill or for incineration which are not great um, options when it comes to disposal of these types of items oh, with that said the skirt is definitely a hundred percent cotton a really great sturdy jeans material piece I love the floral print it's a nice ditzy print I love both bold as well as ditzy prints florals I don't discriminate I, I love both and I find that this skirt really really wears it well post quarantine look number two for this skirt and again my apologies because 
the camera definitely washes it out when it comes to this oh my god um it again the top is a pastel blue very light and i love this blue on me i think i've mentioned it to you guys before hopefully i could do another video with this piece and show you the pattern on it i love the pattern detail i think you may be able to see it coming up in a few seconds i just love the subtle floral detail on it it's such a great piece and again it's a piece from my dad i change the button as a way of tweaking it and upcycling it a bit and added more feminine buttons to it because it it definitely really girly fired <laughs> so i love that if you note carefully it has some tiny holes in it but i just love that part of it it shows that it has been worn and it's passed down to me and i love things that comes from my dad and my mom so this is another option of wearing it outside and a little bit undone just for some aspects of creativity or if that's your style definitely go for it and here is a closer look at the fabric and really really love hope you love it guys so for post quarantine look number three i am incorporating the spring 2020 corset trend and so i found this corset piece that i really really struggled to get into this piece guys i'm not gonna lie because this piece is about 20 years old i got it when i was like a stick of a woman and so i had to struggle through it but i really really hope you enjoy these looks together and remember to stay safe self-isolate and thank you so much for watching and i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye Mwah.